For the past hundred years, Mother Nature was something that kept scientists questioning in the past archives and find many ways to learn these phenomenons off many weather activities, such as thunderstorms, partially cloudy days, or even times at night. But in one of many occurrences on record that have been getting spark of popularity are tornadoes. Tornadoes are one of the most destructive natural disasters known to man. The most record of tornado activities are the homeland of the United States of America, only in specific areas of all the 50 states. In my home state, where I was born and raised, in the heart of Alabama, I can say that I was one of the people that have experienced the 2011 super outbreak on April 27, 2011 which I was only 8 years old in the time of the outbreak. The super outbreak of 2011 was the largest, costliest, and one of the deadliest tornado outbreaks ever recorded, taking place in the southern, midwestern, and northeastern United States, leaving catastrophic destruction in its path. And one of those states was Alabama, in cities of Tuscaloosa and Birmingham were devastated by an EF4 tornado, ranging from the highest winds of over 190 miles per hour, by a record for 64 fatalities and 1,500 injuries. By the daily statistics starting from April 25th to April 28th, the death toll was over 300 people, an injury record of 3,100 people. I believe this video can help the future of many citizens, younger and older generations of today's nation. My name is Caleb Fleming. I will show you how to be prepared and to be ready on what to do and not to do when a tornado is coming. Before tornado season arrives, you need to make a plan. Not only you will save time before the storm, but you will know what to do without having a hard time figuring out what you should do. It is recommended that you should take drills or tests, as it will become a positive mentality on making better choices. This plan can include sheltering locations inside or outside your home, gas line or utility shutoff locations, important contact numbers such as 911, family, and your insurance agent. And last, a meeting place for your family and relatives can group up in case if someone is lost or doesn't know where to go. The next step is to be prepared during your plan is to assemble a basic disaster supplies kit during the event before the storm. A basic emergency supply kit could include the following recommended items. Water, food, a NOAA weather radio with a tone alert, blankets, toolkit, flashlight, first aid kit, extra batteries, a whistle to signal help, extra cash, clothing, local maps, and a cell phone with chargers. After assembling your kit, remember to maintain it so it's ready when needed. Keep canned food in a cool, dry place, store boxed food in tightly closed plastic or metal containers, replace expired items as needed. Rethink your needs every year and update your kit as your family's needs change. If a disaster strikes, having insurance for your home or business property is the best way to ensure you will have the necessary financial resources to help you repair, rebuild, or replace whatever is damaged. Store paper copies in a security safe or in a bank deposit box. Leave copies with trusted relatives or friends, secure electronic copies with a strong passwords, and save them on a flash or external hard drive in your security safe. Keep your policy number, your insurance professional's phone number, and claim filing instructions in a secure convenient location. Make sure to keep all of these stored in your shelter area before the time comes when any tornado weather activities become in effect. A high wind warning and a tornado watch have been issued for our area by the National Weather Service. If your state was under the suspicion of anomalous storm activity, it is best to turn on your local news broadcast channel or the weather channel where they will release news or information about the storm. You can also use your NOAA weather radio, 
as this device relays specific information from the National Weather Service's broadcast station. If the storm begins to show characteristics, or if a chief meteorologist detects something abnormal inside the storm, National Weather Service will display a polygon or multiple polygons of a watch or a warning. Trained spotters and law enforcement are trained to watch the storms in the event of a tornado becomes in fact. A tornado watch is when atmospheric conditions are favorable for the development of severe thunderstorms capable of producing a tornado. A tornado warning is when a severe thunderstorm has developed and has either produced a tornado or has a radar signature that is conducive for one to develop. Watches and warnings are not based on counties. Although the broadcast can report which counties are under a watch or a warning, it is only in the favor by where the polygons are located in segments of counties, but does not mean you're not under the threat. Be vigilant and pay close attention to news and information. When your area is under a tornado warning located in the polygon on TV, you'll hear your NOAA weather radio relaying loud beeping tones of an upcoming alert and after the beeps, the National Weather Service will relay a broadcast message. The National Weather Service in Birmingham has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Etowah County in northeastern Alabama, southeastern Cherokee County in northeastern Alabama until 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 2.57 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a tornado-producing storm was located near Jacksonville State University or near Jacksonville. If you don't have a NOAA weather radio, or if you're watching TV, your TV cable box will automatically interrupt normal programming by relaying the emergency alert system. Referenced by the title, scrolling text with information, incorporated groups mentioned, and issued reason. Following with three headers and one long tone. After that, the broadcast message will begin. You will hear civil defense sirens activated when you're under a tornado warning. Since most sirens were commissioned by the Office of Civil Defense since the 70s, they're still used for the purpose to alert the citizens of natural disasters and other dangerous phenomena. Since most residents stay inside their homes during a tornado warning, they're most likely not to hear a siren. Since the ongoing siren mentality has been spreading down the south, a lot of people have been getting killed by tornadoes because of the siren mentality. People need to watch their TVs or listen to the radios of an upcoming alert of any kind of tornado warnings. Do not rely on the sirens outside as this will lead to your risk of getting killed by a tornado. Take cover as soon as you hear the warning. Once you realize that you are now under a tornado warning, the best place for you is to go to a basement or a storm cellar as it will protect you from flying debris and strong winds associated from the tornado. If there's no underground locations in your area, go to a lowest part of your home or in an interior room with no windows. For added protection, get under something sturdy such as a heavy table or workbench. If possible, cover your body with a blanket, sleeping bag, or a mattress and protect your head with anything available, even your hands. Avoid taking shelter where there are heavy objects, such as pianos or refrigerators, on the area of floor that is directly above you. They could fall through the floor if the tornado strikes your house. This is something important for people who live under rural communities or low-income areas during this time. 
do not stay in a mobile home manufactured prior to 1976 during a tornado. Mobile homes built before 1976 are practically vulnerable to high winds. Mobile homes and other non-foundational homes can be easily lifted or destroyed by a tornado. When a tornado is coming your way, you need to evacuate your mobile home and leave. This will save your life. Cars, on the other hand, can be heavily damaged by even weak tornadoes. In a violent tornadoes, they can be thrown large distances, even into buildings. High-profile vehicles such as buses and tractor trailers are even more vulnerable to high winds. There are many reasons to avoid cars when a tornado is imminent. Severe thunderstorms which produce tornadoes can produce flooding rains, hail, and strong winds far from the tornado-producing area, all of which can make driving difficult or even impossible. Any of these situations can leave drivers stranded in the path of the tornado far from the substantial shelter. If a person spots a nearby tornado while driving, the official National Weather Service directive has been for the individual to abandon the car and seek shelter in a ditch or a culvert, or substantial shelter if nearby. Make sure to stay at your shelter area at all times. Keep your NOAA weather radio beside you to listen for any upcoming information about the storm. Do not leave your shelter until the National Weather Service will state that the storm has passed. After the storm has passed, make sure to exit your home in a calmly safe passage if your house has been hit. Make sure to disable all utilities such as electrical and gas utility lines. These utilities can cause a fire in your house and can possibly spread to other locations. Check for other injured residents and civilians in the area and tend to them if need be. Don't forget to bring your important documents and other kits outside so that way afterwards, your insurance agent will tend to your house and evaluate the damage. If your house hasn't been damaged, stay inside your house since it's the only safe place for you. There may be other storms that are active and you need to stay put and await further instructions by the National Weather Service. There is always a possibility to survive a tornado if safety measures are accountable. Remember to follow all your plans and take shelter immediately if you're under a tornado warning and when a storm is coming. I hope this video can educate you and your loved ones on what to do in the near future. Make sure to comment down anything you'd like to share any stories or experiences you've had. Thanks for watching.